we all know that with sharing is used to enforce the sharing rule whereas without sharing is used to do the vice versa but what is the practical use of it how it's actually used in the real world in this video i'm going to give the clear picture of how to use without sharing and how to use with sharing in what conditions do we use with sharing and without sharing so let's get started so first let's go through the configuration first of all inside the chrome i'm logged in as salesforce in 5 minutes user who is a ceo whereas in edge i'm logged in as raju shrivastava user who is a coo right and the owd of the opportunity is private so right now what i've done is i have an account let's say this is the account named as test new inside this we have an opportunity that has been created by the salesforce in 5 minutes user who is a ceo okay so basically what happens is a record is created by salesforce in 5 minutes user okay who is a ceo okay so if i'm going to name it as salesforce in 5 minutes okay he owns the opportunity right now okay and we have a coo as well ceo that is raju okay i'm going to name it as Ra raju now basically if raju shivastav tries to access right if the record is the opportunity record is basically owned by uh, salesforce in 5 minutes user who is a ceo now if raju shivastav if we try to access this opportunity from raju shivastav user basically we won't be able to let's try it out right away i'm just going to paste it so right now if i see inside the account as salesforce in 5 minutes user inside the account in the related list i can see one opportunity named as test but let's see whether i can see the same opportunity in the as uh, raju shivastav user or not so right now in edge i am logged in as raju shivastav user as you can see so in details i can see the same account because and it is owned by salesforce in 5 minutes because the owd is private uh, public read right in this case but for opportunity the owd is private that's the reason why i am not able to see the opportunity at all because the owd is private and it is owned by ceo okay is higher than the rule so i won't be able to see now let's move on to the code so what basically i have done inside the code is that i have written a trigger that whenever we are going to make an update on the account related opportunity should also get updated the name of the related opportunity should also get updated i'll walk you through the code so basically what i've done is i have written an account trigger okay which works in after update because we are working on the related record that's why i've kept it after update but none other than less what i've done try to do is first for an example whatever account we are updating i am capturing ids of the account and then all the related opportunities okay all the related opportunities i'm updating their name to update 101 so right now if i'm going to make an update to this account the related opportunity will get updated to updated 101 because the name is previously right now is test it will get updated to updated 101 and it will get updated simple okay now this code is working without sharing let's make it first of all with sharing now if i make this particular code as with sharing let's see what happens now if i'm going to go and make the changes to the account let's say i'm going to make the changes to the fax and save it as you already saw the name of the opportunity was previously test but now it's updated to 101 updated 101 i'm again going to rename it to test okay so as you can see it's now again updated back to the test now this code i ran it as salesforce in 5 minutes user as the opportunity was private and he had the access hence we were able to update it but what happens if i try to run the same code or try to run the same logic as raju shivastav user who is a co and he does not have access to the record so if i go and if i make the website as one let's say and click on save okay let's check what has happened to the related opportunity let's update the page i'm seeing it as a salesforce in 5 minutes user that the reason is because i won't be able to see opportunity is raju shivastav user at all so i'm just seeing the change whether the change is done or not so answer is no so even though i made the changes as i made the changes as salesforce in 5 minutes user the opportunity got updated but when i made the changes as raju shivastav user the opportunity did not get updated this is where the with sharing keyword came into the picture okay what with sharing keyword did is it checked does this particular user has the access to this record or not basically applying the sharing rule right applying the owd applying the applying the share there is no sharing rule right now over here but it has applied the sharing that is the owd is also one of the sharing so it has applied that sharing that is the owd as the owd is private raju shivasto did not have access to this particular opportunity hence it did not even update the opportunity for him 
so the code here ran in user context right so if this uh, like for an example if i keep it with sharing what happened is the code ran for rajesh shivastava and rajesh shivastava did not have access to the opportunity and that's the reason why the code did not work for him at all because there was opportunity involved inside it on the other hand it worked for a salesforce in 5 minutes user because he owned the opportunity that's the reason why it worked for him now what if i make it as without sharing let's see what happens now we all know that the code will specifically run for salesforce in 5 minutes user because he owns the record okay now what if i update the record as rajesh shivastava i'm going to remove this website as byu i'll keep it and let's click on save let's check whether the opportunity name is updated or not if you can see right now as i updated the record as rajesh shivas the user still the record got updated the opportunity got updated and the reason specifically was without sharing okay the answer is because of without sharing in case of without sharing the code run in system context so it did not follow any kind of sharing rule at all the code will run for every user and any user irrespective of the sharing rule or owd basically your code did not follow any kind of sharing rule and even though rajesh shivastava did not have access to the opportunity because opportunity was of course private hence still he was able to update the record using the this particular code now what if i keep no sharing at all let's try it out that way as well i'm going to rename this as well back to test let's click on save so now i'm going to again run this code as rajesh shivastava only let's click on save let's see what has happened it was test previously now if i reload it what would be the value of opportunity let's check it out now if you can see again the record got updated right as rajesh shivastava he did not have access to this particular record still the record was updated the reason is because we did not provide any sharing at all and if you do not provide any sharing at all this means your code is by default going to run in without sharing okay so if you do not specify anything at all okay in that case also your code is going to run in without sharing if you do not specify anything it's going to run in without sharing if you specify with sharing in that case it is going to follow the sharing rules as we saw rajesh shivastava was not able to update the record using this particular code now let's move a bit ahead of it okay let's say i have this class with with sharing keyword okay now i have another class which has without sharing and i'm going to this i'm going to particularly for this particular update right i am going to update the opportunity i'm not going to update this opportunity over here instead i'm going to update the opportunity in another class that is this class so let's call this class and i'm going to pass the opportunity list so now we have two classes one class with the calling class is with with sharing keyword and the inner class the inner class that we have is without sharing inside the inner class we are just updating the record and inside the outer class we are just doing all the calculation and update like i mean we are just doing the prerequisite but actual update we are doing in the class which has without sharing keyword now let's rename the opportunity back to test and let's see whether rajesh shivastava was able to update the record still or not basically means that still is sharing rule getting applied or not okay so i'm going to rename the so website let's say i remove it and click click on save okay let's reload it you can see the opportunity named did not get updated now what does this means is that basically if your calling class is with with sharing keyword 
and your called class the call the called class means basically the call class you are going to call is without sharing even though if it is with without sharing keyword and it is with with sharing keyword the it will enforce the with sharing only because the calling class the call the class which is actually calling the another class that particular the sharing of that particular class will be applicable on the called class so our called class here is inner class because we are calling that inner class over here and uh, account handler is the calling class over here and inside the calling class we have with sharing the inner class that we have is with without sharing as the calling class that is the account handler is having with sharing keyword still the sharing rules are getting enforced let's try to do it wise wise uh, vice versa sorry okay let's keep the outer class as without sharing and the inner class as with sharing now let's see what happens i am again going to rename the uh, no need to do it okay fine let's click on save i am getting an error okay as per as the profile level i have whole access okay i have create read edit delete not we all modify but i have basic access to update the opportunity but still i am getting an error saying that insufficient access or read only okay i don't have access to this particular uh, or i don't have access to update that particular record okay that's the reason why i'm getting this particular error basically why am i getting this error is because right now what has happened uh, first of all with without sharing every value was gotten populated okay you see opportunity value everything got populated okay but while updating actually updating the record here what we see is nothing but we have just updated the variables okay updated the fields values of this particular opportunity okay and we have added to a list but while actually making an update we change the sharing rule to without with sharing okay we made it restricted and as soon as we made it restricted it just got okay we don't have access to the record we just cannot make an update because over here if you see i'm just making an update over here but overall calculation i'm doing it within this without sharing class only that's the reason why i'm getting that particular error because variables are populated but i am not able to update previously when i kept it as with sharing itself what happened is let's say if i kept with sharing itself over here previously uh, if you remember i kept with sharing only but i did not get any error at all the reason is because the whole class ran in with sharing and it did not even run this particular code it was not sudden for him that okay we do not uh, we have completely lost the access from the start itself the class already knew that we do not have the access no need to do further calculation but over here as we what we did was uh, we called the with share, we did an update in with sharing but all the calculation in without sharing it suddenly got okay we do not have access at all okay previously during calculation as it was without sharing as it was without sharing it thought okay they have all the access so it made all the changes to this variables but as soon as it went to update the record it was updating with with sharing keyword and suddenly it realized okay we do not have access and that's the reason why we are getting that error that we do not have access to the to update this particular record so this was all about the with sharing and without sharing keywords if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel